Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Show Rock Rock. Welcome to my channel. I got my hands here and I'm going to be doing um, three other coasters. I did one coaster off camera, I fell in love with it and I thought I was just going to um, do it. It's these coasters here from Home Depot, the flooring pieces that I use for test tiles. Well, this is a brand new one, so we need for a coaster. And um, I, I fell in love with the colors. And so I decided to do three more. And um, also a CD so that I can um, make a clock later on. So let me go over the colors with you. Uh, it's late at night, believe it or not, but I love doing things late at night. Um, so my idea is like a cool and warm uh, pour. So this is called African Violet Prism Pour. You see the consistency there. Hopefully I can get it on camera. It looks like it is. I'm kind of like leaning over to see what's in the in the view or not. So you see the little trace on top? It's kind of thick. That's what I like. That's my consistency. But that's my African Violet Prism Pour. This is off the new um, Pure Radiance um, Prism Pour. This is called Big Apple. Nice bright red. And those two are going to go on the bottom. My pillow is going to be a black base, um, Glidden Premium. Um, I had them tinted black, but it didn't get as black as I wanted to. So I bought some, um, I can't remember which color. I think it was Cheryl Williams. And I kind of like added the black to it to make it even more black. Took half of it out. It wasn't quite as black as I wanted it to be. But now this is a good black here. Um, this is called, what is this called? Is this the Bougainvillea? One second. Uh, this is Canacridone Magenta. I'll show you that. Uh, consistency there and this is called this is another one um, prism pour from pure radiance and this is called um, sour lemon now these pure radiance colors are so wonderful because I was looking for something that had a more of an opaque feel to it and these really show up against the um, black base. So that's why I like these. Um, and then my selectivator will be the um, Atelier um, Blue Black. And this has a US Floetrol um, mixed with water in it. So it's not a chemical. When I say selectivator for those who are beginnings, beginners it's a cell activating layer which means it's going to work it's going to break up sink to push the pillow and the colors up to make the cells kind of like a run of kind of like the run of pantyhose on the legs of a fat woman then you have fat cells Okay, so we'll put this pillow down here first. I have my thing set up on the side. And let me go with the colors first. So I will go with the uh, violet, African violet here. 
and the Big Apple here. Then, Kanako no Magenta here. It's all about two colors and a cell activator. And so I, if I did the whole thing, I would have done the red, the yellow, and the black cell activator, or we did the purple, the magenta, and the black cell activator. But since I wanted it to go um, cool to cool, cool to warm, I'm doing four colors. So warm colors here, cool colors here. And I put my cell activator in the middle, then I'll blow to both sides, and see how that turns out. So here's my cell activator in the middle. Let's blow this baby out. Let that collect. Give it some time. I brought my straw over. So let me see if I can wake up anything in here. definitely have to give the paint time to collect because as it collects the cells still are pushing up and the pillow is sinking down as it comes to the middle Each piece will look differently. And I know we're different. Did I say differently? Yeah. I'm still working on my grandma. Okay, good. Now, when I'm, when I'm at my table and I bring the um, towel over here, while I'm doing this, I'm already loading up colors on another towel to bring it over here to spin. But for these video purposes, I'm doing this exactly like this. And everything came together pretty nicely. So time to spin her out. I like to spin it often because I want the paint to be thin as possible as it's going over the edges. That's enough to get it over the last edge. So all the corners are covered. Let me take my finger and touch the sides before I lift it up to put it on the drying. Um, my cookie cutters on the side of the table. Let me touch the sides here real quick. And 
I got my paint clothes on today so I can wipe things on myself. Get nice and dirty. So, let me pick you up. This would be number one. Look at that. Oh, I love that. So we're gonna see if we can duplicate this two more times. Back for number two. Maybe I should get a piece of paper towel. Just to wipe my finger off. Yeah, this video will get some editing. Get all these boring parts out. One of these days I'm gonna give one uncut video you have all the little bloopers and everything else that goes along with it the scrapes all the good stuff um if you're doing these techniques as a beginner one thing i want to say is that um it takes some time to learn and each failure is a pass because with each fail you learn something and I know I've heard and you know many people speak about um, wasting paint and not wanting to, to waste paint well if you're trying to learn a specific technique you want to get better and better at it wasting paint is unavoidable you're going to waste paint because you're going to need a recipe that works for you. Me, because I'm a chef, I kind of understand consistencies. So generally I don't measure. So when you look at the description box and see, only thing I measure is my Floetrol for my um, thin down US Floetrol mix and I measure um, my pouring medium because I want that consistent. Outside of that, when it comes to the ratios of pouring medium to paint and all that good stuff, I generally don't measure. It's because I didn't want that in there. I want to keep the yellow separate. Uh, thanks for teaching me that trick, Karen, for waterfall acrylics. I love that. Just pull it right on out by kissing it with your finger. So, one second, let me blow this before it sinks. So, what was I saying about the cell activator? No, about measuring? Yes. So when I put the measuring measurements or in the description box, it's a general roundabout. I don't, it's not exact. So sometimes you have to really um, fiddle around with it and see whether or not you have to make something thinner, make something thicker to, or leave it thicker rather, to see what best works for you. Also, blowing is a technique. It needs to be mastered. It took me a long time To learn how to blow and I still don't quite get it to where I want it to be as you can see I'm going in with the straw that can be a result of um, too much cell activator on it but another thing um, I did want to make mention of is that I just thought about it 
the heavier body your paint is, um, the more or the faster your cell activator is going to sink. And you're going to get um, uh, tighter cells, but they won't, a lot of this black will disappear even more. So you don't have to go in, you just have to be patient and, and wait for it to um, expand. Wait for those cells to grow and expand. So you don't have to really dig down into it and keep blowing and keep blowing and blowing because by that time, everything would have sank and you have this really thin line that you probably would have wanted to leave a little bit thicker. Like this, I don't mind. Let's see if we can uh, spin this puppy out as well. That's about there, ready to go. So let's spin this out. Make sure I'm centered, because this thing will fly off if it's not center. I learned that the hard way. See how these lines are here and here? I want to get those off too. I have to take that all the way out to the edge. Almost there. I'm going to get rid of this right here. I'm just trying to focus on my center. Oh, yeah. So I'm happy with that one too. That's, that usually happens a lot of times. I will start a, um, a test tile for some color, and I'll say, you know what? I want to make myself a uh, coaster set with these. And I end up making a coaster set. You can use the same principle that with the hot and cold, and you can shift uh, one color from, let's work with greens on this side, you can fade over and to work with blues on one side, or, well, you get the idea. Let me show it to you, look we so close up. Okay, you set it down. Let's go for number four which is actually three. On here on camera, but it's the, actually the fourth time. And let's go again. African Violet. The Big Apple, New York, New York. Yes, that was my Frank Sinatra. I want to be a part of it. And my CA. I love that little acronym. CA. CA run.
the balance was a little off on the the reds and the yellows. Let me let that slowly collect. That was a better blowout as far as getting the cells to work in the middle. Only had to touch up this little spot right here. But that's slowly sinking. So that black is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. You just got to be patient. Just got to be patient with it. And my James Brown boys, just got to, got to, got to be patient with it. Yeah, I'm crazy. But you have to be, to be an artist. You have to have a little touch of it. Now, this is a little bit more yellow towards this. So maybe what I will do is I will off-center it to kind of pull it that way. What do you think? I think I should tilt it. Let me see if I can come. Nope, I'm not going to tell it because that center is still boom, boom, locked down in there. Now, when I first started doing blooms, interesting factoid, I didn't spin them out. I tilted it. And it came off the edges and it still made a nice, con made a nice stretched flower. I said I was gonna move this a little bit this way to kind of take things toward the yellow end. See how I move things that way, but I still had this. That's because the force went in this direction. So now I can pull it back to the center and spin it to get the rest of the colors off going the other way. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. These silicone mats here are cool. They're non-stick. But sometimes I just don't feel like waiting for it to peel off, so I'll tend to take it over to the sink and rinse it off. But that's that puppy right there. I don't want to tilt it till it will slide off. But I just want to get the glare out so you can see it. Now, put so, you here. see I saved some paint. Violet -y. The big apple. Yeah, turn my television off. Is anyone here an office fan? I am. I like little comedies like that. My Life in Pieces, The Office, Superstore, because you need something, you need a little levity to kind of help you deal with problematic situations like this health crisis. So I like those shows. Let me blow this out.
Okay. See, I always have a problem with having consistent blowouts. I see I have a lot of black there, where the other one turned out great. I don't like that middle, but there are parts I do like, so I'm still going to spin it out regardless. Put you in the middle again. And let's spin it out. Look, I'm gonna do the same thing I did the last time. I'm trying to pull some of that way. Get you back in the middle. Let's see if I can push you in that direction just to get that little bit off that edge. Oh, it's coming. Trying to make sure it matches up with the other pieces. It does. Got a little tiny corner right here. That should be enough to do it. Yep. Spilling over the sides. One on four. Okay, so I'm gonna have to brush that up. So I'm gonna clean this out tonight. I'm not gonna wait for it to dry. And that's number four. I'm gonna set you aside. Oh, now, I guess see I'll do one more thing. And that. Be my CD. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this sticky stuff on here so my CD can stick. I'll be able to wash it off. I didn't feel like putting the tape on it like I did the last time. Hopefully my CD doesn't fly off. I'll pick it up. I did the double side tape the last time but it makes it a little bit difficult. So now let me see if I spin it. Oh yeah, that'll work. All right. So this one says 
Soul Loving Stuff, Volume 8. Here's some, this was some beautiful mixtape I had. Um, but now that I have my Spotify and some other music that's already on my phone, I don't play a lot of CDs. So, CDs become clocks. No pun intended. Yes, it was pun intended. I'm going to do the same thing with this. The half and half theme. I love the half and half theme. And the red. The big apple. Sing with me all. New York, New York. Every time I say Big Apple, at home, y'all got to say New York, New York. And if y'all don't say it, I will know because I'm listening. I didn't want to push all that over there. See, the cell activator kind of pushed that yellow towards that area. Would pour this off because it's not balanced, but I'm not. Just gonna let it develop. Sometimes you can have some ugly spots in here, like this little spot here. And what I learned from uh, Karen was, if you take your finger and lightly touch it, you can lift it off. It almost gives you almost like a, a balloon kiss with your finger. But it still looks better than it did before. All right, now let's get the spin. And the one thing about CDs and clocks, they don't have to be perfectly uniform. It's always have a nice place of interest that don't have a lot of going on. Like this little section right here. It's like all these nice little cells have this beautiful blended section of interest right there, which makes it great as you want to arrange your numbers. You want to decide where you're going to uh, have that spot. Oh, but that is so beautiful. So I'm going to put you down over here. 
and then I'll get you guys down for a look at all the pieces, including my test. Okay, so let me um, put you down and I'll get you a better look. Wow, this is almost 40 minutes. Okay. All right, everyone. This is the final wet result of each one. See how the colors are going out from corner to corner on these? The separation is going diagonally. This was my test piece that I had going straight across. See the difference? Corner to corner. Where's the other one? Here it is, corner to corner, corner to corner, corner to corner. So they all match up really nicely, as you see. That's kind of an oddball. But look at that CD. Woohoo! Nice rings around those cells, making the black jelly beans. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Loving it. Love, love, loving it. Okay, folks, I'm very happy with this. And thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Um, please like, hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel. And even if you want to put a comment on any kind of port that you want me to try, I will try to rise up to the challenge. But for now, have a great night and happy pouring. Good night.